soon, guys. Yes, so. Dude. Going into this, guys, I'm Well Dressed Gem. I'm currently joined with uh, Durango. And uh, we, right now we have Grand Finals of Zilton versus Mr. E. Now, Zilton and Mr. E have, of course, a lot of experience yes, playing they one do. another. Um, they keep trading sets. They go really, really even. But more so recently, I think the sets have been in Mr. E's favor. And in fact, Mr. E's Joker is what sent Zilton onto Robin into losers. 100%. Yes, it did. Uh, so I'm actually, it's actually weird seeing the uh, Lucina Zelda swap from the from these two. But, um, yep. you know, I think this is when it, where it counts. This is where the money's on the line. So, yeah, I can see why these two are just going from their mains immediately. And right now, I'm questioning a little bit about Zilatin on stage pick on going to Battlefield because I noticed for like a really, really long sequence, he was really struggling landing against Mystery with those up tilts and up airs, just covering basically the entirety of the platforms. And you see, that's the matchup experience of fighting both Zilatin on and Zelda for Mr. E. As soon as he saw the Zelda preemptively teleport, yeah. he dashed back knowing, hey, he's going to come right after me. I'm going to go ahead and whiff punish this. All right, all right. I like, yeah, I definitely see that, you know, Mr. E is like, whoa, very, uh, He's very uh, studious, to say the very least. He is. He manages to at least like read a lot of these good options, yep. and like look at the, like look at that. He immediately yep. knew that you know ZTN was going to try and up air through the ledge, try and steal a stock underneath underneath, and just immediately just wave wave dash back and yep. just charge an F smash because didn't refresh yep. the invincibility. But regardless, Zutsen is able to actually clean it up just about the same with an up smash, effectively resetting the game and. Ooh, that's a little bit of conditioning from Zilton on there because usually he would follow up something with like the drag down neutral air, and that's why Mr. E mashed out the up B. But Zilton on waited it out and is able to get a punish. But right now, Zilton is struggling to get landed. Oh yeah, the biggest thing that I that I have to give props to Mr. E for is that his his um his advantage is so good. Mm -hmm. Same with same with Zilton on. It's literally just a tug of war now between yep. who gets the ledge, who gets the corner here, and. It's almost rare that you never see them go back to center stage right as they go back to center stage. And I think I feel like a really cute difference in, in like the advantage that both these players, like Zilton and just showed, his advantage it can be really, really explosive. Like when he is an advantage, he's gonna rack up a bunch of damage or he's gonna get the kill. But Mr. E's advantage feels so drawn out, like his ledge trapping will last for, you know, like thirty seconds at a time. Oh even. my god, yeah. And just racking up the damage slowly until he takes your stock with like a back hill, really, really beautifully placed F tilt. Yeah. So there you just see like the stylistic and the character differences. And Zilton getting another up B hit. Wow. Oh my god, yeah. Look, look at look at this right now. 128% on on ZTN and a, whoa, back air managing to take it there. 62% on Mr. E here. This game can go either way here. Whoa. Mm -hmm. I thought we were about to see a seal break in game one. But right now Mr. E has to find a way to get back onto stage. He, he expended the last of his air dodge on the Jin's fire. Was able to get back, getting an up tilt back air, missing the F tilt afterwards. And right now Ooh, Mr. Ah, that's really unfortunate for Zilatan that he misspaced his uh, back air, but the F smash almost doing it. All right, gets a little bit, of, gets the uh, weak spot of uh, Din, of Din's fire there. Goes for a big up smash there, and now let's see if Mr. E's uh, you know corner control is going to be going to be into play here. Oh, missed times the back air from the roll from ledge. That saved him. Yep, the Phantom. Unfortunately for Zero to None, he, uh, he has to be a little bit more reserved with those Phantoms because he had Mr. E in his up smash, but then the Phantom, of course, knocked him out. Oh, yeah. Um, so that would have most certainly been the kill and the game right there. And so right now, Zero to None, he's going for the kill. He's landing with the, either the forward or the bear on the shield. Frame six aerial, by the way. Oh! At 154%. Mr. E brought it all the way back. He brought all the way back with a single dunk right there. That's wow. got to be a big mental guard break for zero to none. Yeah. Whew. Like, my heart stopped when I saw that myself. Um, Just a huge momentum breaker because zero to none seemed like he was on a roll. Like, he was, like, like definitely, like, really, really piling on a pressure. Mr. E, like, both, like, percent-wise and also a little bit psychologically. But then Mr. E just, like, quickly turned it all the way around just with that one spike. With that one spike and that, and he needed that. We're running it straight back to Battlefield. I'm not sure if I agree with this. Um, um, it did seem mostly even, in fact, possibly for Zero to None's favor until Mr. E ended it that way. So perhaps my original prognosis was a little bit um, incorrect there. But right now, Mr. E getting something started with the wave land on the platform after the down throw, but unfortunately not being able to connect any tilts or aerials out of it. But oh! Catches wow. him sleeping there with yep. that F smash and that bad, and he probably obviously wasn't DIing correctly there because he just got hit randomly. And <gasps> no, stop. And stop. No, 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 he's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Whoo! Let that that's going for a second, but it just uh, Zilton on waited on his tumble a little bit, waited before using his jump. Just anything that he can do to throw off Mr. E's timing. Behind the up tilt, up tilt, sour spot of downer, and then Mr. E was able to follow up with a photo of his own. 
Zuitsanon kicking him off the stage with two of those, I believe they're called lightning kicks. Lightning kicks, yep. Wow, really, really impressive stuff. And just like that, Zuitsanon has brought it almost all the way back. A really beautiful, uh, beefy up B there just to make sure that he's going to land on top of the stage and to deal 15% to boot as well. Oh, yeah. And now here comes that and here comes that corner control that we were talking about here. Look at that. He just, he's not, just not letting him land on and reset the neutral here. The pressure is still going on. Mr. E's advantage state is godlike. Yep. And Getting the nearly one into the back here. That was a really beautiful conversion oh from Mr. Lee. Great was, conversion. Yep. Just like his technical ability just to do that in grand finals like that. Like, it's not that complicated, but as the matches go on, like, your ability to execute such things definitely deteriorates. But Zutsun getting, again, the tech chase with the salary spot down. I don't think that's what he intended to do, though. I think he wanted the sweet spot. Yes, so he, he did. So he could pop him up and hit him with maybe an up air. With a couple up airs here, folks. Now, here comes the dash attack. Neutral has been set. Mr. E. Oh, great parry off of the up B. 99% coming into, coming into the play here. Yep. Four throw? No. Grab release and... And the four to... Wow. And so right now, Zutanen is down two games in loser side. If Mr. E can keep up this momentum, this is going to be looking like one of the fastest... This like grand finals. Three out grand finals. I've ever seen here at Aeon Gaming here, folks. Um, this is... Wow, we're running it right back to Battlefield. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so right now, you see Mr. E really, really wants it. He doesn't want this to go on any longer. And Zero to None has to make just maybe one of the most difficult comebacks in history to get the reverse 3-0 here. And then to play it in winners again. That's, I mean, to play, uh, to play the, the bracket, bracket reset. reset. Um, but right off the bat, you see Zerutsunan giving up all stage control. Mr. E has the ledge guard opportunity using make making great use of his falling nose and his uh, dancing blade. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, my gosh. Look at that. Look at this oppression right now. Just zero to none trying different options on Mr. E's shield, and Mr. E just has the answer for all of them. Yep. A really, really great beefy up but Mr. E was actually slightly ready for it, so maybe he needs to work on his positioning on that a little bit. <gasps> oh, Mr. E's trying to go for his, try to answer answer back with, like, meaty aerials of his own right now, mm -hmm. and uh, zero to none's able to stuff out a good chunk of them. But right now, this is really, really dangerous for Mr. E. I love the drift back from Mr. E, making sure that he won't get hit with anything funky like those downers. Oh, my God, yeah. And whenever you have a recovery as great as, like, Lucina's, you can definitely afford to be drifting back a little bit further. You don't want to be jumping right. You don't want to be so desperate for stage control that you're jumping right back on to them, but Zerutin on actually cleaning up the first stock with a lightning kick. Yeah, uh, 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 Mr. E trying to get something, trying to get, you know, a cheesy stock Ooh. away with that up B, but a great ledge trump, and now that we're at even stocks here, folks, each stock is mm -hmm. big for ZTN. He needs to take them as fast as possible. He needs to make sure that he doesn't take as much percent, because yep. he, because Mr. E, he's looking like he wants to go home, like mm -hmm. right now. With a 3 0. And that was a really, really beautiful rollout of Shield from Mr. E, timing it perfectly because, of course, after 11 hits on Shield from a multi jab or a uh, similar move, you do gain, I believe, an extra frame of invulnerability on your goal, mm -hmm. on the startup of your goal, allowing you to effectively bypass uh, those sorts of multi hits. So, regardless, right now, Mr. E has quite the percent lead, 60%. Um, and I really, really love this. He's like baiting these out of shield options from uh, Zero to None when he's landing aggressively and then immediately up to stuff them out. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Like, now we're going ledge to ledge, coast to coast here with this ledge guarding. This time he gets Ooh. the wrong read. And let's see There's how this is. A bit of go. an overcommitment to the dash grab. Really, really unfortunate on his part. And as a result, he's going to drop all stage control. The Phantom. Wow. The Phantom poking through his shield and. and Whoa! Exactly like you know what I said before. Like Zero to None has an explosive advantage state, but um, E is very, very steady, and very, very methodical, and this is where you'll definitely see like the two styles of play here um, converge most. All right, just often to just turn around a lot here. One fifty percent on uh, on uh, ZTN. Mm -hmm. Up B out of shield here. Oh. Uh, slightly misspaced to be punishing the roll with the f -tail. but regardless, is able to clean it up with a back hit, and now this is so scary for Zerutsunan. He has to clean up the stock, but considering his momentum earlier, he's been always cleaning up the stocks first in this game so far, so perhaps it might be the same way, but Mr. E. Mr. E is just tacking on the percent now. Now he's just fox trotting back and forth. 76%, no punish! Wow, able to spot dodge through that F smash really, really brilliantly timed, and you might want to see him overcommit. No, but he's just going to go through the Dancing Blade. Zero to none, a little bit too far on the edge of it to, for it to fully connect. That might have very well been the game right there, but... <gasps> oh, no way. Not it. He has his jump. He has the up B. We're making it back. 
Wow. Getting the Sao spot on the lightning kick. Right now, Zigatsuna has to find a way to land. And, and oh that my god. Is going to be it. He got a little bit greedy going through the beefy uppy, and that was one of the fastest grand finals I've ever seen. Uh, yeah. <laughs> a 